Well, first of all, we all know there's a need. Um, anybody who watches the news and sees the uh, opioid epidemic is going on. Um, but, you know, Crossroads is so different. Um, there, we, we have so many resources, and once again, par partnering with ASU and NAU and GCU and all these different outside resources where they get, they don't come and just learn how to kick their habit. They don't come just to learn to stay sober. They walk away from here with health, physical, mental, and spiritual health going on uh, because of these partnerships. And that's where it really comes in. And so here we are helping people, but in turn we're, we're really doing something in the community. And, and so you're down on the one level with the, with the single client, but on the, on the overall level, if you look at how many beds Crossroads has and how many facilities we have all in this big circle in Phoenix, from the small end of it to, to the overall impact of it, and, and that's huge, you know, it becomes exponential as it goes along. So, um, did you always know you wanted to work in this field? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I came here as a client. Uh, 25 years in the building industry and doing construction and manufacturing and um, I came here and I found out something about myself. And that was that um, the rest of my family all have something to do with helping people. And, and here I was given this chance, and what a chance, it's awesome. There is not a typical day here, there isn't. There, there is, I think that's one of the things that I enjoy. Um, I was just outside having a conversation with physical therapists on one side, sitting here waiting to try to help, uh, which we didn't have any referrals, that, but, and over here with Michelle and, and other people that, I mean, this, it's nonstop, um, and I like that. I feed off of that, and I, and I really do enjoy doing that, but uh, there is no typical day. And, and you know, the one thing that's, that is constant is you're always gonna have that one moment with one of the clients here that just sends you, a, you get to remember that, that day and go, that's why I do this. <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> Um, really just orchestrating the day. It really is. Um, we have such awesome people working for us and you know, you don't get into this field unless you really are willing to <laughs> suffer and enjoy, uh, if you can do that in the same thing. That's what it is. Um, it's hard, it's difficult, it's emotionally draining some days, but some days it's just, it's you go home with a smile on your face and, and you can't wait to get up the next day and, and do it all over again, which is, depending on who you ask, a little, a little uh, crazy. Well, through the internship, um, absolutely. You know, we have partnerships, as I said, with several different universities and we get to let these people come in and I'll never forget one of the first times I ever was at our women's facility and there were a bunch of nursing interns there, kind of intern students, and they were all sitting around talking about all this stuff that they heard, these, the way that the clients were speaking, and they'd never heard these words before. They did not know the lingo, the street talk that they were learning, and that they're gonna be, be able to apply one day when they're in the emergency room, and they get somebody who comes in, and it's, you know, they need to know, are you kidding me? So it's, it's, it's a, it's, I know it's cliche, real world experience, but it's a different side of that. We, because of the, the, the variety of our clients and, and from all different walks of life and cultures and, you know, places, we get them come, you know, from out of state and everything else. Being an intern here, and being exposed to being able to just sit down and talk to somebody, if you have never been part of that and been involved in anything having to do with substance abuse or alcoholism, um, it's gonna open your eyes. And, I, and I, I dare I say, it's not something you can teach out of a book. Right now, I think we're right around 355 beds, give or take. Um, 
uh, we're going to go another 50 in a while uh, at one of our new facilities with um, 120 something uh, employees and you know we've, we've grown a lot as I said earlier we have our programs changing we're adapting to the need and, um, and, and we're going to continue doing that I'm sure it's a clinically driven you know program and so what might take one person 30 days to accomplish it might take somebody else 45 days to accomplish and we're very good at, at, at acknowledging that and going okay well that's all right um, so it takes 45 um, it takes as long as it takes yeah get out there you know talk to talk to the, the people involved in your department and see what's available right a lot of them might might I don't know might not even know that it's available or, or they may or they may be a little timid about coming to somewhere like this um, don't forget you know we have to this is not um, a lot of people have have that maybe a cliche way of thinking about a substance abuse treatment facility it's not all hospital glaring white right um, this is where we get involved with people's lives and this is where we get to um, we get you know we get to help them one-on-one -on -one. and some of its group some of it's not but they don't I think they need to experience it to fully understand and so ask there's the the the, the availability and the opportunities are widespread.